obviously the next big news on the docket today, J-Rob uh, just recently traded to the Jets. Um, how do we, how do we, which side do you want to start on there? I mean, if you were listening to us for the last couple of weeks, I mean, you've already acquired Travis Etienne and you're super happy. Is he a sell high right now? No. Negative. That Negative boy. ghost Can we rider. quote tweet that thing and be like, this did not age well? <laughs> <laughs> um, We're not big quote tweeters. So what, how do you, how, so now we're just presuming that, that E.T. Is, is the guy in Jacksonville? I mean, it's mean not presuming. Just like, it already it's not was. presuming anything. He played 80% of the snaps this past week. I don't even okay. think J-Rob got a single carry. He, he didn't get any carries. He had zero fantasy points this past zero week. Zero carries. They were. They're, I guess they were probably one, about to sell him. one target and zero carries. That was probably about to, like, let's not hurt this guy because we can sell him. No, but Brees was playing later in the day, so that wasn't even a plan. Right. I guess well, they I, could have been preparing to shop J-Rob. That was kind yes. of like... Correct. Could have been. Yeah. So they probably I would doubt that. It, I mean, rather than showcase him, they prevented injury to to sell him. But I don't. But uh, regardless, ETN was getting yes shifted the work yeah. in his favor. Correct. Or, 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 and then looked fucking awesome. He looked good. He almost had two touchdowns. Oh, they fumbled. fumbled. <laughs> they fumbled. So bad. That's part of them giving that game away. But yeah. Every week the Giants get the game given to them. I mean, they, they just don't lose the game. That's yeah, they, the whole thing. They just every, That's a, they're a well-coached team. Yeah, every every week it's, it's you know, everybody who's playing the, Gi- the Giants, so they just gave that game away. And it's like, well, I mean, eventually it becomes a theme that the Giants are just doing what it takes to win the game. Exactly. Um, you know, it it could have been a fluke, but I think it's just, it's just a well-coached team right now. Now, are they going to probably make much noise? No. But, I mean, nobody wants to see the Giants right now. I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you know Wandell was was very good in that first half, and um, you know eight eight for eight targets, six receptions, fifty yards. I Yo, believe that was all first half. Wandell um, was looking awesome, twitchy and phenomenal, and then he got crunched. <laughs> I thought he didn't it, see I a lot it, more. From I thought him. it was a dick shot at first, the way Dude, he, he got he looked, bent, but he got it was like if you took this can and you crunched it it was like he's oh, all right gosh. because that he that, was back out there yeah i was at first i was like i didn't see him for a minute didn't look uh you know one getting the looks like before when when he was in that first half was just everywhere for them um doing work which is exactly kind of what you and i talked about last week doing oh. the rookie profile with, Ro- oh. with wandell there speaking of rookie profiles did you see how bad the bellinger got hit in the face oh i didn't he see. got crumpled i didn't see it, it didn't all look like that much oh he just, just a, i just caught shot him inside of the, the yeah they said he broke his um uh i said he broke his eye socket on a septum out indefinitely Looked yeah. like some game of thrones shit out there all right so what where does this do for the etn value then where where how much how much does it now cost to get ETN? I think somebody? he's probably back Too where he, I think it's probably he's probably back where he was preseason. Preseason. Yeah. That's probably like fair. a third round startup pick. Yeah. Yeah. Which it's not cheap. And it's all it's all ticked guys. up usage efficiency for the last couple of weeks. And he's looked good. And he's starting and he, to start to after that fumble, he did like come back with a vengeance and yeah i missed did he have like a 49 yard rush Fifth, or something it was, it was 50 i missed that i was trying to put the stupid kid to sleep and then come back and half the third quarter is gone so what we're, so we're presuming hopefully just we want 20 touches regardless of how they are for etn moving we, we would like sure. to see you know 16 and four and four or, i mean know. i'd love to see 10 and 10 <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, I, I want to see. You don't even need twenty for my four, man. Fourteen and six. Sure, yeah, that's may, probably. Yeah. Which I think five. I think yeah. it's going to be probably the goal for the Jaguars, kind of moving forward, something yeah. along those lines of getting him twenty touches a game, one way or another. And you know, I don't need Etn to get the ball twenty times in his gut. Um, no, he's going to be a better player, better usage, better threat. He's going to be an efficiency guy, Use, right? Yeah. Using him in those different ways. My man's averaging six point one yards per carry. Oh, he doesn't what's even the most, need. What's the most rushes he's had so far? How many did he have this past week? Fourteen. That for was 114, the most. 8.1 yards. Fourteen for one hundred and fourteen. He doesn't need that many touches. Five. Man. Five targets, but and only one, one reception. Okay. Right. Um, and a really costly fumble. It was a bummer, but he came back with a vengeance after that. And he has made. That's the thing. Like, he's only gotten loose like twice, right? He, he, had, got, a he had a couple of long big, runs. I think he had a couple long runs this week. I think he had two long, two over twenty. I don't know. I got the sleeper notifications for big plays. So, he he he's like he hasn't busted a long touchdown run like like Brees or Kenneth Walker have. But 
Uh, R.I.P. Brees for this year. Oh, what a bummer. We'll get there. Uh, Very shortly. But he has looked awesome. And, he, and, he, and he's made some mistakes in there, sticking with him. And if he hadn't made those mistakes and if he'd be playing perfect, if he could just put it all to fucking together at yeah. once, it would be well, the nice incredible. Thing, well, the nice thing was even after the fumble, they still were going back to him. He, he didn't right. get benched. So that tells me that he has Peterson's trust. Yeah. And I mean, and, and I mean, now if they move J Rob. Oh, I yeah, mean, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's got to give you some context clues of, of how they feel about him. And, you know, what's what's the uh, is there anybody else that you need to go ahead and pick up? I mean, I mean, it's probably or? worth it's I mean, if Snoop Connor's available, maybe as a speculative ad, just in case, knock on wood, something happens with. I mean, UTM. if Hasty's still out there, you should probably scoop him up. He's done I'm, pretty I mean, yeah. good on a couple Hasty of his as well touches. Too, yeah. Like, I'm assuming in a lot of dynasty on larger bench teams, Hasty may have gotten scooped up. But uh, I've seen Hasty him get Connor, scooped up yeah. in the last couple of weeks, so yeah. he might not have gotten. And I think no, that's I think Big that, Co doing it in the leagues yeah. I'm in, so definitely uh, scoop some Hasty. I was I was hoping to pick up your boy on the Jets side there, Jay Wayne, but I think that might be gone and done now. Who's that? Zonovan. Zonovan. Bam. Um, yeah, he was free. All right, let's 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 roll over to the to the uh, jet side of things here. Um, so Brees gets hurt. Yeah, unfortunate. You get oh. the, you get the trade for Justin Fields. Look like he just yeah. got hurt. That threw, was threw a very ugly ball and got smashed. And Still threw a touchdown though. Herbert grabbed it and he had a wide just, open field in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> just ran in with a convoy. Um, so Brees obviously bummer, as Jay Wayne said earlier. Huge bummer. Um, injury, ACL I really mean, stinks. I mean, I mean, was he? If he if he kept playing like he was, was he going to be the dynasty one hundred one next year in single QB? It would seem to be right there. I mean, we'll see how Jonathan Taylor finishes the season. We'll see how that switch yeah goes. See how the Colts are up to. Um, but you know, he'll, he'd be certainly, certainly in, the in the conversation and Barkley as well sure. too. Yeah. Well, maybe not dynasty, but yeah. Um, so, what do you think about J Rob on the Jets here? What what's what's his value? What do you think about it? Is you know. Is it going to be mostly Michael Carter and a little bit of J. Rob? How, how do you guys feel about the uh, Jet side of this? I think I'd still rather have J. Rob than Michael Carter. Yeah, but I think it's probably going to be fifty-fifty. I think it hurts. It's kind of a bummer for Michael Carter for sure. Like you thought, oh yeah. man, my Michael Carter stock just went yeah. up. I think it still is up. Like, I don't think well, J-Rob's yeah, just yeah. going to come in there and immediately take a bunch away from him. They run the uh, Shanahan-style offense. They want to rotate some guys. It's yeah. a good rushing attack. Well, they want to keep the ball out of Zach Wilson's hands. But I also think they could ride the, ride the hot hand as well, too. So, Yeah, I mean, what was the original question? Who would you rather have? J-Rob no, no, or j- Michael j- Carter? It was, it was basically just all of the things Jets, like the value of J-Rob, what you think about him on the Jets, what you know, what you think about Michael Carter, all-encompassing all, all conversation here for that side of the ball. I mean, I don't think – I think Michael Carter is probably still a must-add if he was dropped anywhere Yeah, in, in redraft format. For formats. sure, yeah. I mean – I dropped him on Sunday to pick, to pick somebody up. I'm kicking myself over that one. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Um, I think that J Rob's going to come in, and I think they're a good one two punch. You know, I think they're a good uh, combo platter. I don't think. Does this bring any value back for J Rob? I, I think, think it does. So. I think it has yeah, to. Because because definitely he was going losing down. his job to ET. Yeah, ET he's going to get more than zero. Po- he's going to get more than zero points. In, I, I'm not going to hold in, his in pass against him. It seemed like they were ready to move him and get something for him and let ET take over. And so I, maybe he's they also didn't. been looking worse and worse and less efficient, and less efficient. Has, so yeah. is he, is is he washed? And did they just make a nice move? Or he, he, both of you seem like you're still in camp, J Rob. Would you trade for J Rob if you're a winning team right now? No, I don't think so. Not trying to trade for J Rob, I don't think. But I'm 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 not. I like, mean, if I could I, pick him up for a third, maybe. But I don't think I, I would have for that price. J. Rob, I'm a little more excited, I think, than I was prior to him not being on the. How jets. different is it than the situation he just left when they were when they were, you know, kind of the beginning of the season, though. In terms of like the team around him, or in the, terms or the, of maybe the like how you might see a usage split. I mean, I don't think Carter's anywhere near explosive as ETM is. Certainly, certainly is not. Um, Nor the. Definitely to better. Take a bunch of carries away either. Definitely seemingly a little bit better in the passing game. Mm-hmm. Definitely more explosive than J. Rob is. J. Rob was looking less and less explosive. J. Rob in no way is in in comparison to Brees at all. 
um, with with what Brees can do in the passing game, what Brees can do with just overall athleticism. Um, so it's going to be interesting. They obviously wanted to wanted to bring in another running back that they could felt that they could lean on if they needed to. Yeah. Um, they also lost Elijah Vera Tucker for the season as well, too. Right. So that, you know, it's just, it's just kind of a stinky O line, which was Brees was somehow getting it done in there. And they're, they're yeah. actually, you know, running the ball pretty well. Like, yeah, they're, they're playing nasty, dirty games. Defense is good. Special teams is good. Zach Wilson just isn't good. Yeah. Um, yet, may, and it's not really fair. And he missed at they're the still end winning of things. Some but games, they're, they're winning, but it's, it's not, they're, they're doing, he's doing, not doing much. No. Uh, to win those games. Um, it also doesn't help that they're losing wide receivers as well, too. That doesn't help. So sure, um, but you know, I, I think I think it's I think it's going to be the Michael Carter show with a little bit of J. Rob mixed in. Um, if you had to guess the percentage, how much percentage would you say for? I'd give it sixty forty. J. Rob, Michael Carter. So sixty forty in favor of, of Carter. Michael Carter. But Carter getting the more valuable PPR touches. I think probably. I, you know. I think you said it. You know, I'm game to game. They could ride a little bit more of a hot hand. Um, but I, I guess I'm slightly concerned with is J Rob's hand ever going to be all that hot anymore? Uh, That's true. I, I just think that I just think I'm more excited about J Robin for, for on the Jets than I am him on the Jaguars going forward, hmm. especially for this season. I think I would I'd be looking for the for the way out on J Rob. I mean, I think, but I think you probably could right now. Right, and and that's the thing. Like, other than maybe CMC, it usually doesn't work out that well for guys getting traded mid season. Like CMC came in for the Forty ers and looked like fucking awesome. But like, it does seem like it's a whole lot easier for running backs to acclimate to what's going on rather than a wide receiver. Um, but there's always like a value spike because it's like, oh, you could get unleashed. And it's, it's like a shiny new object. It's almost sure. like a rookie draft. Sure. So if you've been looking to get out of your J-Rob, which you probably were because it hasn't been trending very well recently, it's probably a good time to be like, oh, he's about to take over for the Jets. Let me get a little something. Yeah, something I mean, I'll him. be looking to trade him pretty hard in the, in the league, I, in the one league I have. If he, can, if he can look like, like week one, week two J-Rob again, and they were just kind of like throttling him down a little bit and not give him as good of opportunity – then, then of course, you know, you're going to look like an idiot for selling him. I feel like, you you know, a lot of people have been, J-Rob has been constantly doubted his whole career. Um, but I, th- this might be my, my last uh, final destination of trying to get off board the, the J-Rob train. I mean, if you're trying to get off, this is probably great. This is probably a great stop to get I'd, off. I'd see where it is now, and then I would see. I would try and do it before he plays it down for the Jets. Sure, and then I would then, then you know, continue to see where that goes and, and sell. But I agree, I would try to do it before he plays. Um Michael Carter, on the other hand, um, you know, he's somebody bought him for a two. If they were, if they were like, "Hey, I could get out for a two now because this is basically Brees' backfield," would you buy Michael Carter for a two? I would probably have to be the Brees. Let's owner. say you, yeah. if I, if if you I was the Brees, Brees owner, you're okay with it. Yeah, I think you I got would, the handcuff. Then you're okay. I'd with have to be a really good team, though. I, I, I think, think it has to be just, a competitive team. I think this is the point of the season where we're, we're finally figuring out where our team is at. Right. I'd have to be a pretty strong team, at least five and two, to, be, to consider two that. For, for Michael Carter seems like a lot. It's what you paid, probably. In the rookie draft when Last he came year. out? Yep. Yeah, I would say that's fair. Yeah, I mean, shit. He vaulted up to the first in some instances. Yeah. People are so thirsty and idiotic for a running back sometimes, which I'm all about getting the running back, but you can't be... Elevating the so Trey Sermon, you're not, you're not into Michael the two. It, se- it seems like you're basically just leasing uh, Michael two. Carter for. Well, the that's what I'm saying. If I'm the Brees owner, then I'm also sh- get, getting his getting his sure. backup as well too. Sure. So that's the only way I'm considering it. Maybe two thirds if I'm the. Not I might the be Brees trying owner. to like just if I'm if I lost Brees and I've been crushing it, I might see what happens. See, like you know, we have Brees. And we're doing really well in that league. Crushing, actually. And it's a huge bummer to lose him, but we it's a deep, and it's such a deep starting huge, lineup. Uh, and there's a deep bench in that league as well, too. It's a massive bench. Uh, it's a 40-man roster. I think there's like four flex spots on top of a super flex. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know what we should do. I don't know if we should make a move to replace that production or just see how it goes. I think I would make, I'd make the move replacing the production and probably stay away from both of those guys. Right. Yeah. For, for me. I, yeah. If I want to move, if I want to move a pick, I'm like trying to 
go do better than Michael Carter. And oh, in, for sure. In two or three weeks, it could look like a terrible call. Maybe my, I think Michael Carter's a good player. Like, I do too. I just am not giving him very much respect right now. <laughs> I don't want to move the two for him. Yeah. If I have Michael Carter, I feel good about it. I think in that league, I think about in that league, Jay Wayne, I could be, I could be convinced in moving our one next year to get a to get a player to other than one of these two guys. Yep. Yeah. For sure. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I <laughs> ah, fuck Mike. them picks if you're ready to win. I mean, I know some people will say, "Oh, you can't ever do that. You gotta just, you can't trade away." We if have you, a strong if you, team in that some league. Some people say if you lose the, the 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 player to an injury or whatever, you don't want to trade that first away to try to supplement that thing. And I say, fuck that. I say, try to win when you're hot. Try to win might, when you can. I might wait a second and see how see what yes, happens. Yes, for you sure. I'm, I mean? not I'm, not too, like, I'm not gonna do anything too. I'm not gonna do anything too. I'm considering but, it. You know. Yeah. But I, I like. This week was a so fucking if massacre somebody, of if players. I had, if, like, I, if, me, if I had Michael Carter right now and and we did just get nuke back. offered you offered you a two, uh, offered you Michael Carter and you I, I wanted your two. You wouldn't give it to me. I think both of you would if I put you on the spot right now on that particular team with Brees Hall. Do you have Michael Carter? I do not. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, like I said, man, if I'm not about to move some picks, I want to go shoot a little higher. Yeah, all these aging running backs that everyone can't wait to fucking move. That's what I'm gonna go try and get. Yeah, but you're probably not getting any of them for a two. No, I'm gonna have to. Pay, I'm gonna pay more. I'm gonna spend a little bit more. Would you rather? Get, would you rather pay the first for? Would you pay a first for Dalvin on a team like that, winning team right now, doing well in the league? You lost. I think I want. I think I want a little kickback with Dalvin. I'm not really upset about trading one for any of those older running backs if we get here in a couple of weeks when when if. if if we really need one, like yeah. Dalvin, Aaron Jones. Fuck, if we got Jacobs put on 40 points a week, we don't need a second. We don't need another running back. <laughs> and if Burrow's going to do that, yeah, although I, I, don't know, know right? what, I don't know what the injury with Chase is. He came back in the second half. Oh, he did come back? Yeah. Now? All right. I mean, let's, Burrow's uh, heating up. Let's keep it moving here.